must be able to play more than one position, which is very, very good for us. And sometimes tactical changes have to come. It's just to help the team. So that's why sometimes you play people out of position, but with specific instructions. I don't think we'll have any, any problem when, we, um, um, when it's necessary to do that. All right, so tell us about Mo Salah. Uh, your predictions about him yesterday, how it worked out. And also the fact that he stays in the Premier League, and perhaps players in the Premier League, do you think kind of helps you to achieve what you are doing in continuing his following? You know, Mo Salah is one player I respect a lot. He's a flying African flag out there. Be very, very consistent. Whether we like it or not, the Egyptian team is a very, very good side. And then Mo Salah is an exceptional player, no doubt about that. I have res my respect for him. That's what we told the boys. Respect, but don't be scared. You know, we are, we are coming with 11 players. We also come with 11 players. And what we have to do is just try to double our effort. We came up with a strategy and it worked. But I also told them you cannot get it 100% all the time. There will definitely be some moments where we'll be late. But the ability to put it back together as quickly as possible matters. And the good thing we, that we have going on for our team is that the boys... I give them a whole lot of credit because when you send a signal or information, they don't need too much reminders. That's a very good. So our boys are very football intelligent, and when you give information, they go they go by it. You don't have to be they don't have to be reminded. I think that is what we, we, we had going for us, and they were able to keep Salah at bay. But even at that, Salah is still a very respected side, and the Egyptian team is a strong team. All right, finally for me, um, yes, we just said again that. No, you can't say they didn't turn up. I'm sure, very sure they did. Uh, having one of the best players in the world in the Premiership as well, in the mode of Mo Salah, and having one of the best coaches in the world as well, uh, Carlos Queiroz, who has worked in big clubs like before, Madrid, Man United and all that. And it's just that the way we approached the game. We try to neutralize them and then play our own game as well. Be quick on the ball and try to be compact when we go, go, go offensively and compact when we go defensively. So probably our game plan worked for us. That was why people are feeling that Egyptians didn't turn up. They did. It's still, it's still a team that I respect a lot. Okay, um, the Gios yesterday was worried when he saw the lineup. Was it was missing? Any update on him? I was in was missing, and you also know that um, uh, Amero also got a knock when it came out. Thank God, Jamil is back now. The update is um, he will, he might train this evening. No, we're not training again this evening tomorrow. Hopefully, he recovers really quick. Though he had a knock as well, and then hopefully we fit. Otherwise, we have it, we have a very uh, deep squad.